Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Jet Joe Gaming. And welcome back to your boy. Uh, come on, game, come on. Yeah, King Robert II de Jong of the Iron Throne, who just came back from an epic journey around the world to all the seven uh, wonders of the world. And, uh, you know, he changed a little bit along the way. Um, yeah, welcome back, everybody. Uh, let's get right into it. After visiting many exotic places and ma meeting many interesting people, you have finally returned home as your tour comes to an end. What an amazing journey. Yes, 250 prestige and we lose the trade stress, which, which is huge. That's great. It's just a minus one health penalty uh, just gone. And uh, yeah, I noticed this. Uh, yeah, this is probably the same thing. Let's see. Buy a mask. Does not have a regent. Okay, I guess uh, that will be that will go over uh, by itself. Yeah, regent she has ended. Okay. So I kind of want to buy this mask. 50 gold. Order a mask from Mask Maker. Yeah, let's do it. There we go. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Don't know what that did exactly, but uh, at least we are not looking at uh, at uh, our ugly nose again. Although, eh, do we really care? Do we really care, guys? Should we take off the mask? Should we take it off? Can we take it off even? Any Bretton's armor? No, I guess not. Okay, well, whatever. I thought it would like uh, lessen this uh, this penalty a bit, but it doesn't seem to have done so. Oh well, whatever. Uh, we can hold a turn, you know. Let's uh, let's repay that loan. Can we do that already? No, we need a bit more money. Okay, let's let's wait for that. Yeah, and um, last episode we resolved to become a somewhat better person, so we we took the theology focus. So let's let's see how that goes. For too long, Baduin Martel has occupied my rightful seat. My wife wants to press the claim on Dorn. Wow. Um, sure, wife. <laughs> we can give you that money. We wanted to pay off that loan, but this is too good to pass up, right? If she um, if she she grabs Dorn, that that would be insane. We would uh, like our, our children would inherit Dorn. Horace would inherit Dorn. That would be just great. Uh, obligate the vessel. We'll do nothing for now. Esplat. Okay. Yeah. So I'm a bit of a changed man. So I'm gonna act accordingly. We're gonna we're gonna ask uh, Robin politely if he wants to uh, stop uh, being infections. Oh, okay. I guess it did work. <laughs> no, no, we're not gonna be a complete pushover. We are still a ruthless, uh, ruthless man, but uh, we won't be uh, we won't be such a dick. <laughs> a young tattooed artist from King's Landing proposes to paint an iconic portrait of King Randy the Beautiful. Yeah, okay. We can do that. The uh, well, not the father of our house. It was Robert Baratheon, but the sort of restorer of our house. Uh, Lord Lothar Frey has been a Leo enabled servant, having su successfully completed many tasks in, aid of, in the aid of the Iron Throne. Yeah, he, he has, hasn't he? He's been in in the in the sort of he sort of uh, small council for a very long time. We gave him Blackwater Rush, so I guess we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna uh, promote him beyond that. I mean, we we gave him a high lordship already, man. Screw him. <laughs> We, uh, you know, I mean, w w what else do you want, uh, Lothar? Come on, we gave you a, we gave you a lordship, a big lordship, powerful lordship, the best lordship. <laughs> now the twenty, um, this guy, Monteris the Able, Lord of Dragonstone. We want to, uh, Vishik, lordship. Yeah, I, I kind of want to, uh, want to arrest him because I kind of want to re, re gift uh, Dragonstone back to my family. We're back to Stannis' family. So let's do that. Yep. You raise your flag in rebellion. Well, for all the good that's gonna do you. Uh, Mace the Ace. Oh, he's no longer around. That's now... Um, uh, where, uh, where is he? Eustace. Eustace, yeah. My boy Eustace. Please uh, bring your army over here. We will uh, we'll get some ships from the Vale, maybe. 21 ships. Wow. Wow, Robert. Come on, man. Um... Surely you have a bigger fleet than that. Oh well, we will just uh, do it. Uh, we will just raise all the ships possible in the Iron Zone. Loretta Gargalen, my wife, is uh, attacking Dorn. Good luck with that. <laughs> uh, we removed Garland Tyrell from the uh, the court. No, we didn't. What are you talking about Harris, Lord of Harlow. I think he is. Um, he's in revolt against Theon, but whatever. <laughs> didn't Harris uh, kill somebody we knew? Not a no murderer, no, I guess not. 
I feel like uh, like there was uh, so he killed like Rob Stark or something very early on in the campaign. I think it was one of the high laws. Might have been someone else. Marjorie Tyrell wants to kill Eustace the Black. Marjorie, you're crazy. <laughs> no, we're not gonna help you kill your 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 nephew. Although, having said that, um, is she the heir? No, she will be though. No, we're not, we're not gonna. We're not, still not gonna do it. Uh, no, you can't. You can't have any money. Ah, here is his army. Uh, let's put some people in charge. Helm and Cox. Sure, why not? Uh, Loris. He hates me still. And me. Yeah, we can be. Uh, we can be in this war. We're a pretty good fighter. Let's trust uh, our skill on the battlefield. Seventy. My ninety-one percent already. Okay. Great news. Let's uh, let's move to uh, this little peninsula over here. We can arrest uh, Lord Commander Loras if we uh, if we uh, if we uh, uh, reveal this plot. Hmm. Hmm. Do we have any friends in the King's Guard? Not really. Yeah. Who even is in the King's Guard? Let's see the White Book. Lord Loris, Sir Balon Swan, Robar, Robar Royce, Rolly Duck, they're the old geezers, right? they're all old men. Look at this. <laughs> I think Loris is probably the youngest, and he's like 50. 49, yeah. It's 53, 60, 54, 61, 56, M765, wow, okay. <laughs> um, are we gonna arrest Loris, though? Hmm. Mm. We could do so, I guess. I mean, he is our rival. Yeah. Yeah. Loris, my man, in prison. <laughs> let's uh, let's call him for trial. Okay, yeah, of course he's gonna do trial by combat. That makes sense. Um, yeah, yeah, we can be we can be merciful. You can be in Laos arrest, my man. You don't need to be in the dungeon. Trial by combat. Yep. I, I figured as much. Uh, 90, 125. Harris, the Knight of Harlaw. He's our, um, yeah, our master at arms. He's better a better fighter than Loris. Sure. I'll send for you, Grace. Great. <laughs> Fight well, so, uh, Lord Harris. <laughs> the Ironborn versus, uh, versus Loris Tyrell. Let's see. He's been slain. Okay. He's been killed. Slain by Lord Harris II of Harlaw during a trial by combat. At the age of 49 years. The gods are in my favor. Oh, yes, indeed. Who are we going to appoint as Lord Commander? So, Loris is dead, guys. He's been a rival for, like... Well, since the start of our reign, basically. So, how long have we been reigning the Iron Throne? Nearly a decade. And uh, Loris has always been our rival. And now we finally found an excuse to uh, to kill him. <laughs> um, so, who are we going to make the new uh, Lord Commander? Let's see. Robar Royce, I guess, right? He, he's a legendary tourney knight. He's already the uh, Lord Commander, I guess. Incapable, though. <laughs> Due to old age or something else. Um, well, let's see. Uh, we need a replacement for him in the King's Guard, though. I kind of want to appoint this guy, but he is... Um, I guess he is... Uh, he, he's landed, so we, we can't do that. Hmm. Let's have a look. Uh, my bastard uh, brother is dead, otherwise that would be, would have been a good choice. This guy is pretty pretty bad at fighting. Stannis, maybe. <laughs> that would be great, actually. But he's not in our court, I guess. Not prohibited from moving courts, yeah. Too bad. Edric. Maybe one of Stannis' uh, descendants. Ronald Baratheon is at the wall. Ronette Bennett Baratheon. He's a pretty bad fighter. No, none of you guys are, are any good. Okay, we'll have a look in the great big book of our realm. Garland Tyrell we could do, I guess. He hates us a bit, though. Did not give me title. Okay, that's gonna go over at some point. Would you like to join the King's Guard, my man? He would, okay. I'm quite surprised by that, actually. <laughs> I thought he would, he would refuse, but I guess not. Great. <laughs> Welcome, Sir Garland. That's good, actually, because that means that he is also out of the line of inheritance for the, the Reach. So I guess it's now Bioni and then Luthor and then my wife, right? Um, yeah, she's third in line for the for the Tyrell throne. Hmm, interesting. 
very interesting, in fact. Hmm. Okay, let, let, let's think about that. But for now, Garland is uh, is in our King's Guard. He hates us, but he still wanted to uh, to be in our King's Guard, I guess. Um, okay, this guy is brave, honest, gregarious. Um, we can have him raised by uh, Lord Olimar, I guess. Yeah. Uh, let's do that. He's turning out pretty well, Oris. Yeah. 13 year old? Sure. You can uh, he can be raised by Olimar. We really, really like Olimar. He's like the one Lord Paramount who doesn't completely hate us. <laughs> we are at 360, so I guess we can repay our loan. Mm, repay loan, yeah. Let's do that. Uh, yep, guardianship. Okay, let's continue with this war. We should be able to quite easily deal with it. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, this we, we can still we are still allowed to appoint the new leader of the King's Guard. Show more. Uh, Robar Royce would be a great uh, a great choice, I think. Although he is incapable. Alice of Gallows Grey was a friend of my father's. I vaguely recall that this guy was a friend of uh, of Renly. Or we could do Garland the Gallant. He is the sort of highest ranked. Of them all and we did kind of slight him when giving him a title so maybe this will appease him a little bit yeah garland tyrell sure right uh, he vows anew to protect your person from all those who may harm you so his we killed his <laughs> his brother in a trial by combat and now we replaced him with garland tyrell. i guess it's sort of a um uh, sort of a way to appease the the tyrells in our court because they're still probably the most uh, most important faction so we cannot just kill a major Tyrell without any uh, any recompense, let's say. Yeah, let's uh, spend some time reading the Seven Pointed Star. Sure, the uh, the Not Bible. <laughs> Subject was uh, gored to death on the order of the Lord Paramount Theon. Okay, hundred percent great. Thank you. We would like uh, to you to forfeit Dragonstone. Thank you, and we would also. Uh, like Dragonstone itself. Thank you. Okay. Um, we will lower the fleets. We will lower the troops. Uh, can we re revoke anything else from him? No. I shall be merciful. We can uh, we can call him for trial though. Or we can banish him to the Night's Watch. Sure. Bye bye. <laughs> Monteris Velaryon. I think these guys are going to be in the new House of the Dragon show, right? They're going to be pretty prominent characters in that. Um, okay, uh, we have Dragonstone, so now I kind of want to give it back to the line of uh, Shireen, because they're now unlanded. So Ronet, for example, Ronet Baratheon, my man, he hates us, why? Usurp title, really? What, what title did I usurp from you? Lordship of Dragonstone, really? I mean, we can give it back. Although he hates us. Uh, we could give it to this guy. Zelekor Thelise Pentoshi guy. <laughs> okay, well, I, I don't really want to give this title to someone who just completely hates me. That sounds like a terrible idea. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we will just give it to someone else in our family. Loris, maybe. Loris, my, my brother. He can have the uh, Lordship of Dragons. Or we, or we could make it our traditional heir title, I guess. I'm going to point Loris to the... The Stormlands, that's also a possibility. How, uh, how long until Oris grows up? 13, okay. Should uh, we already betroth him? Yeah, to uh, uh, Jelena Risley, uh, Lord Olimar's, uh, Sir Olimar's uh, daughter. Good choice. Uh, Edric is not married, though. Edric is turning out great, man. He may be ugly, but all his other traits are great. Man. <laughs> uh, we should give this, this, this guy some land at some point. Should we just keep it for now, or will people hate us for having too many high lordships? Probably, right? Yeah, probably. So I think we should give it away. Or we just should, could just give Oris to Stormlands, I guess. No, but we, 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 we've had some buggy stuff. S stuff happen with that. If we if we gave this guy the Stormlands, then probably uh, Orlamar would be removed as his guardian. So let's just give it to Loris, right? Loris, my man, we have a gift for you. The High Lordship of Dragonstone. Enjoy. Enjoy, my man. My brother. Pretty good guy. We might make him Hand of the King at some point. I think I already said that. But uh, for now, Olimar is doing a fine job. A better job than he would, probably. We will at some point uh, organize a great tourney again. It's been it's been a while since we've had one. How are our vessels liking us? Do they still hate me? 
Yeah, they still ate my guts. Okay, but hopefully we will be able to get rid of excommunicated at least anytime, sometime soon. Oh, Lord Howland of the Neck died of depression. 68 year old. I think he's probably one of the the last guys who was who was sort of there at the, the tourney of Harrenhal that kicked everything off uh, in Robert's Rebellion. And he's probably one of the few people who's still alive from that. So he's, he's also dead now. I think uh, we're starting to sort of really lean into the older characters, or into our new characters a bit more, because I think at the moment, most... Yeah, Dora Martell, he actually held out for a ridiculously long time. I think he died at age, like, 80-something. Um, yeah, in 79, yeah. Oberyn died quite soon. Yeah, no, I, think we, I think we're at the point where Tourney of Heron always sort of a distant memory. We're 30, 30 years after the War of the Five Kings. Your brother-in-law, Baduin Martell, has been slain. <laughs> okay. He was killed in direct single combat by the enemy commander, uh, Carlton. That's, I guess, in the, wi the war that my wife's fighting, right? Is she winning them? No, that doesn't look like it. But she did kill... Uh, <laughs> she did kill uh, the, the, uh, the current Prince of Dorne. So there's now this guy, Engren of Dorne. My man, do you want to... Uh, I do have an uh, aggression pact with you? No, I guess not. Maybe we should marry uh, your daughter, your son then. Kyle Martel. Martel. <coughs> and we can marry him to uh, Jalona, that's fine. Because I kind of want to want to stay in a non-aggression pact with you. I don't want you to join any uh, any factions. <coughs> yeah, okay, we're now in a non-aggression pact, right? Very nice. He won't join any factions anytime soon. Oh, my wife has been imprisoned by Engren Martel. Alright, yeah, I mean, that was the risk you took, Loretta Sand, when you uh, attacked uh, <laughs> Dorne. You know, uh, that, that, that was going to happen. We were going to capture you, so, you know. I, I, I think we haven't really paid attention to our wife. I think she's not really suited to us anyway. Being brave, zealous, trusting, that's like the opposite of, of Robert. But uh, I guess she's imprisoned, okay. Uh, Lord Paramount Robin Tully is invading the lands of Lord Paramount Olimar. Yeah, I'm going to ask him to stand down, I think. What are you doing? What kind of war is this? Lord Paramount Robin's claim on Stony Head. Uh, is that just a claim? Or a de jure thing? No, it's, it's not uh, It's not de jure, so no. He'll be branded as a traitor. Okay, oh dear. <laughs> um, he's not going to... Uh, allow us uh, to, uh, uh, to we, he's not going to listen to us he's not going to stop fighting so what are we going to do we're going to brand him a traitor and have him arrested for treason uh, we will name somebody else we'll right for ruler of the trial okay we, we're going to arrest him for treason right come on we're, we're no weakling come on yep okay great we're going to call him for trial oh, we can already uh, we can already uh, banish him to the night's watch I guess can we revoke a, 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 a title from him? Yeah. Can we revoke the Kingdom of the Tribe? But I kind of want the, the Tullys to keep it, you know. My wife is married to him. But, you know, he does hate me now. <laughs> so maybe not. <laughs> maybe we're gonna gonna give it to somebody else. But Lyman of the Trident. Mm. Execute, imprisoned. Change fear by 10. Could do that as well, I guess. Ransom prisoner, 250 gold. Does he have that much? No, not even close. Mm, exile prisoner. Banish to the wall. I, I guess we could send him to the wall. Yeah, that way Lord Lyman won't hate me so much. And uh, we'll still have the, the Tullys in charge. We can show him a bit of mercy. Yeah, let's do it. We're at the wall, my man. So now I guess uh, your former wife is uh, is no longer married. Uh, can we still do we still have a non-aggression pact with you? No, I don't think so. No, we do, I guess. He's a close relative. Yeah, he's my nephew. Can we uh, can we betroth you to somebody, uh, Lyman? I think all my daughters are uh, <laughs> are taken by now. We do need to marry off uh, Edric, Edric Storm. So we might have to find somebody for him. Maybe a nice Tyrell. Although I guess we've intermarried with him as well. Maybe a Westerling. That's a good idea, I guess. Lady Marcella, Westerling. Rude, greedy girl. 
you have any better daughters? <laughs> Joanna Hill or uh, ja Mila Hill, they're both bastards. So I guess he doesn't have any better daughters. Okay, we'll marry Marcella Westerling, sure. To uh, our boy, Edric. It's a good uh, good match, I think. We have another non-aggression pact. We have uh, we have quite a few non-aggression packs, I think. Let's have a look. We have the, yeah, Alma Risley, Lord, Lord Permit of the Vale. We have Lord Permit of Westerlings. Lord Permit of the North. Prince of Dorne. So it's everybody except, um, except the Tyrells and the Riverlands, I guess. Yeah, that's all the Seven Kingdoms, right? No, we, we do have an on-the-question pack with this kid. Right? Oh yeah, he's a close relative. Okay, so I guess we are we are sort of uh, diplomatically uh, forging, uh, keeping the realm together. Yeah, there's no yeah, only only uh, Lord Permanthion is in the is in a faction. The rest are all non-aggression packs with me. That's great, actually. If we could marry somebody in Lord Theon's family, I guess there's nothing particular to uh, to dispute it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I, I, I recall that. Oh, it's elective, I guess. Nowadays. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's too bad. Because otherwise uh, it would have been inherited by one of these guys, Ronald Baratheon and Ronald Baratheon. Um, we got Lady Lady Jane of the Iron Islands. She's pretty great. I can marry her off to uh, one of mine. Simon, sure. Yeah. Not a question back with uh, Theon Greyjoy would be great. Uh, Sharon Baratheon. Uh, yeah, I don't have really money to spend on her. Let's do uh, basic equipment. Yeah. That's fine. Accept your suggestion of a marriage between Prince Simon and Lady Jane. Great. Does he now uh, does he now li leave the faction? Because he's a non-aggression non pact. This guy, my the Lord of Dorne, wants to press the claim on uh, Prince Angren. No. I'm not going to press some random guy's claim. Uh, oh, new Lord Commander is needed. But Garland Tyrell died of depression at age 54. Okay. <laughs> Well, that was quick. <laughs> he wasn't really in the King's Guard for very long. Um, let's first... Uh, no, we, we should pick one of these guys. Maybe Robar Royce. Is he... Uh, no, he's still incapable. Balon Swan. Nah. Holy Duckfield. Yeah. He's brave and honorable. But he's also wrathful. Envious. Parman Crane, I think, is pretty good. No, no, he's pretty terrible, actually. Blind from age. Alice of Gallows Grey. Yeah, I, I think we can we can pick him. He uh, he was our, our our father's friend, so I think we uh, we know him well. So uh, no reason uh, not to, right? Yep, you are now the Lord Commander of the King's Guard. Yeah, uh, bring me the greatest knights in all the realm. Yeah, let's try and see what the tooltip does. Jeffrey of the Crossing, hundred and thirty-five. Holy moly! Oh, he's a giant. Right, right, right. Sir Casper, Aaron Faith. No, no, we're gonna go with this guy, right? We are gonna have to. He's a giant. He's he's perfect age. He's refusing marriage, so I guess he probably wants to be in the King's Guard. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeffrey of the Crossing is he? Um, oh, he's a he's a bastard of of Lord Walder. This is Lord Walder, the late Lord. This is the uh, yeah Lord Frey <laughs> from the uh, show and books. But this guy is oh yeah, this is the of Walder, Walder of yeah Walder of the Crossing. This is one of the sons of uh, of Walder Frey. Was a bastard, and then his grandson wants to be in our King's Guard. That's fine. You know, we have we have a distant relative of yours uh, already in the council, I think. Lothar the Lame, yeah. Don't know how he, how exactly he's related to you, but I think he's your great uncle or something. Yeah, he's also a direct son of Walder Frey. So he's a great uncle, I think. Yeah, please step forward. Great. I just wanted to serve your King's Guard. Great. We finally have some young people in the King's Guard again. Ransom prisoner. My wife. Um Nah, I think that's for for roleplay purposes is a bit silly. Like, uh, why would he uh, have he only have, pay, have me pay only ten bucks? I, uh, my wife, uh, you can do with my wife uh, what you want, man. We we might uh, ransom uh, ransom her later if you do, if you say don't change your mind. Oh, another uh, King's Guard. Rolly Duckfield died. Okay, yeah, we, I, all our old geezers are dying. Let's see, uh, any other great knights? We have Aaron Faith. Yeah. No, he's not great. Sir Casper now. Roland Craighole. He's pretty okay, I guess. But let's 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 find somebody. Sir Ellery. 
a riverman, duelist. Yeah, this is a pretty great guy, actually. Let's see if he wants to join. Yeah, hello. Great. He does want to join. Okay, he's just kind paranoid, though. But that's, I guess, for Kingsguard, that's not that's not too bad, actually. Because he, he will protect me well. He will be always paranoid. Uh, see if there's any attackers. He's brave, he's gregarious, he's a duelist. Yeah, he's perfect Kingsguardman. Perfect stereotype of a Kingsguardsman. Very nice. Welcome, Sir Ellery. Some young blood in Kingsguard. Edric Beretti needs a guard. Okay, he is pretty turning out pretty well. Take on take on Edric as a squire, sure. We can uh, should we should we do Edric ourselves? Yeah, why not? Why not, eh? Um, that's it. I think issue declaration of repentance. Piety is greater or equal to one hundred. No, it's not. What is this? Send a letter to the head of the faith of, of the Seventh Church in hope of getting your sins forgiven and having your, having your excommunication lifted. Uh, yeah. Let's try it. Why not? Would love to get rid of excommunication, so... Uh, uh, we, hear, we have heard your passionate plea for forgiveness. We are certain that you will be eager to prove the sincerity with a public act of contrition in our presence. Uh, okay, so we, we will do... I think it's one of the Holy Roman Emperors, uh, Otto, I think. Uh, he prostrates himself before the Pope in like rags, and uh, then the Pope forgives him and lifts his excommunication. So I think we will do something similar. We will walk to the Sept of Baylor uh, with our with our with our bare feet in uh, in rags and uh, prostrate ourselves. Or maybe we will do like the Walk of Shame, like uh, Cersei Lannister did to him. Sure, let's do that. Excommunication lifted. Great. Okay, I'm forced to spend three days in the mud with my head covered in ash. Okay. It's describing this, this actually. All right, dragging myself towards the High Septon's holy set before he finally decides to grant me his forgiveness. Lifting my excommunication and welcoming me back in the loving embrace of the Seven. Okay, I think that's, uh, that's as good a place as any to, uh, to end the episode for now. Uh, Lord Robert has uh, been able through, uh, through his theology focus, his learning focus, to sort of turn himself around a little bit. He's, he's still cruel, he's still stubborn. You know, he's still still feared in the in the land but uh you know he uh he's slowly starting to turn his life around a little bit and his vessels uh, hopefully will hate him a bit less after his communication uh, has been lifted so uh hopefully the rest of his uh, his rule will be a bit more uh, well not stable because it's been pretty stable but a bit more uh yeah a bit more people willing to follow him rather than being cowed into following him so uh yeah thank you guys for watching We'll see where that goes uh, next episode, and uh, see you then. Bye-bye.